Did you walk up so early? Hurry up, get everything ready. I'm not serious. Oh, check on the dining, check on the dining. Are your books ready? Yes, yes. Pick your bags up, let's go. Bye, that. Don't worry, he'll be back. That's why is he always going? Well, today he's going to help build a dam. Why? So the dam can create electricity and Mrs. Mugisha's children can do their homework at night. Wow, Daddy does all that? What else does he do? He's helping to build a highway. No way. Now, Mr. Pio can transport watermelons and earn money for his children's school fees. Daddy helps people create new homes and grow their businesses. But I thought Daddy was a banker. Yes, he is. He works at Stan Big Bank. For us, improving lives is why we do what we do. Because a better tomorrow starts now. Stan Big Bank. Moving forward. Uganda is the most entrepreneurial country in the world. However, out of the businesses started in this country, 80% of those will not see their second birthdays. That's why the Business Incubator Center was started by Stanbic Bank to create an enabling environment for businesses to survive, operate successfully, and grow. This will form part of the competition in the fourth edition of the Stanbic National Schools Championship. My name is Brian Mlando. Welcome to the show. A wise man once said that a better tomorrow starts with innovation. So my question for you is, what are you innovating for your business? And as you think about that, last year we had over 40 schools participate in the Stanbic National Schools Championship. It was amazing as Mary Hill was declared the champion. If you missed it, let's take you back to 2017. We are starting with a quiz. After that, where are we going? I don't believe in failure. I'm self-confident and I believe I can do it. Well, the first was life skills. Then finance, a bit complicated, but I think I sort of nailed it. We have finally touched down in Gulu Town. There is cash in transit whereby you can secure your cash. Digital currency does not favor the illiterate. It has, but how does it have? Digital currency is the answer. Put down the light, put down the light. Okay, actually, your hand has definitely and equipped. This segment is called Name the Face. Everyone should be having financial literacy. The national champion is... Okay. <laughs> Is that thirty percent per month or per annum? Thirty percent per two weeks. Per two weeks. Mary Hill. Yes. I'm so excited about my daughter. I'm so impressed. It's not really about how good your project is. It is about how well you sell your idea. What a great year 2017 was. Congratulations to Mary Hill, who now, thanks to their fantastic team, and of course, Stanbic Bank, have a fully working solar system at their dining hall. 2018 promises even to be a much bigger and better year. Since the schools are part of the championship, 
and hey, not just scholastic materials or money for the teachers or even kindles, but for the first runner-up, a water system worth 10 million shillings for the school, 1 million shillings for the teacher and two model laptops for the participating students. But for the winner, the one national champion, 1.5 million shillings for the patron teacher, two iPads for the participating students, a fully working installed solar system worth 20 million shillings. <laughs> you think I'm done? Well, the grand prize, a fully paid trip, including shopping money to Johannesburg, South Africa. Now, isn't that something worth looking forward to? Welcome to this year's championship. But first, a look at the launch of this amazing experience at the Serena Conference Centre. The presidents that have ruled Uganda so far, I have about eight. I think they are about 12. Four, if I'm not mistaken. Uncountable. Welcome to National Schools Championship 2018. Let's a quick test here and see who went to school. Sir, what is the Pythagoras theory? Uh, thank you. <laughs> and that's my <laughs> Are we supposed to give the definition or the formula? Ah, there's a formula. <laughs> okay, give us both. <laughs> Not sure about the definition, but sure about the formula, which is A squared plus P squared giving us C squared. A round of applause for the schools that are here today. We have picked education because we believe that it is probably has the highest return. You were the champion last year. How did that feel? Um, well, it felt amazing. It felt unreal because it's, it's not usual that you are chosen as favorite over a nation of brains. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the champion for 2017, Miss Evelyn Mugisha. She already knows what she can do. She can stand up here and say something as Evelyn. And we as Sun Big Bank, that's what makes us proud. This year's theme is empowering job creators of tomorrow. The motion will be, this house believes that agent banking is the best step to financial inclusion. Being able to communicate, being able to debate your point of view. These are the things that actually distinguish you later in life. One of the skills that you obtain from effective debate is to be able to conduct effective research. Students, are we ready? Shuguri SS, Nalia SS, Narsusa Girls School, and Chitante SS. Please come, please come. Agent banking is going to help the process of financial inclusion because it's cost effective. With an economy like ours, which is so informal, agent banking is very irrelevant. The main case study that we are using are mobile money agents because they are easily accessible in the community. I would like to pose a question to her and ask how many forms of agent banking does she know? Under which conditions is a person legible to be an agent of agent banking? 70% of the businesses in Uganda are not registered and agent banking is dealing with registered businesses. I'm quite sure mobile money has not stretched as Hello. far. She came before us and suggested that these businesses should be used and she's the same person saying that they have not been registered. First, I must be very much disappointed with a case that has been built by the negating side. First, she was refuting and then next, she was affirming. So she's actually on our side, I don't know why she's the other side. If we are going to look at the welfare of 3.5 million Ugandans, why do you say no to agent banking? Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I strongly affirm this motion. I rest my case. He talked about it, about mobile banking being cheap, but it's expensive because the money got, the little money got, the profits, will be shared between the agent and the bank. Therefore, impending on the poor people, the local people. And are you seeing that? Do you agree with me? Yes. The participants, we wanted to see 
you demonstrate the art of debating uh, in this case on a unanimous decision this debate was won by the affirmatives Okay, you're laughing at the kids, but let me ask you, because in fact, let me ask my crew. Which president wrote the Pigeon Hall Constitution? Pigeon <laughs> what? In the actions of Tamale Mirund. <laughs> As you go and research the answer, let's take a break and when we come back, we join Nalia SS King's College, Budo Chitante Hill School, and of course, Nabisunsa, to find out how the schools performed in the classroom sessions and the oral quiz. Do stay with us. It's the World Cup Final! Uganda versus Brazil. And Uganda are on the attack. The referee points to the spot. It's a penalty! Penalty to Uganda! It's all come down to this. One kick to decide it all. He places the ball. He begins his run up. Huh? No need to panic. You can now review your DSTV and GoTV direct from your Stanbic Bank account. Simply dial star 290 hash on your mobile phone, download the Stanbic Bank app from your phone's app store, or visit stanbicbank.co.ug to sign up for any of our online banking services. Your payment registers instantly, so you will never miss an important moment. <laughs> Stanbic Bank. Moving forward. Stanbic Bank is regulated by the Bank of Uganda. Welcome back to the Stanbic National Youth Schools Championship. And of course, you can cheer for your school and follow all updates on the hashtag StanbicUGChampion. On Twitter and Facebook, we are StanbicUG. Now, over 60 schools were subjected to classroom tests and in under 30 minutes the students were required to answer these questions accurately while well, we were able to stop by Chitante Hill School and also King's College Budo. Let's take a look. I don't think I was very well prepared. There was a question about a bond. For a bond that's related to, is it unit of capital or something like that? Since I'm an entrepreneurship student, yeah, I kind of tried to relate it. I'm just not sure of the results. I was expecting financial questions, but they were somehow tricky. They are more hard than I expected. My best subject is literature. And unfortunately, nothing at all was connected to literature. Mosquito, number four. <laughs> Question, what? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, if you've been in school before, then you know that moment when the teacher comes, those of you answering question three, read the question carefully. <laughs> Well, let's take a short break. The Stanbic National Schools Championship returns after these messages.
you can now do all your banking from your phone with the Stanbic Bank app. The Stanbic Bank app gives you 24-7 access to all your personal and business accounts. You can transfer funds to other accounts within and outside the bank. Buy airtime, pay your water, electricity, TV bills and more. And here is the best part. You can download the Stanbic Bank app for free from the Google Play Store or from the App Store. Stanbic Bank. Moving forward. Stanbic Bank is regulated by the Bank of Uganda. They say great success starts with small steps. And it only makes me think of the days that teachers used to come to class 7 a.m. and subject us to mental work. That would require us to be fast in our thinking and also give correct answers. Well, we're able to visit Nadia SS and Gaza High School where the oral quizzes were happening. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. Welcome to stage two of the, the 2018 Stanbic National Schools Championship. And we do congratulate you for having successfully passed stage one. This is the oral quiz session. Atwine Blessed Musha is my name and I'm in Form 6. Question one. The central bank may choose to increase or reduce the amount of money in circulation. What name is given to those policies used to control the amount of money in circulation. Monetary policies. I'll skip that. Inflation. Deduction policies. No. Monetary policies. Wait, but may I go back later? Because I have a feeling I know that question. I know the answer. Uh, the next question. All right. What is the term used to refer to a debt or loan secured on a real estate? Is it connected to a mortgage, something like that? Hmm. Mortgage. A housing loan. How much time do I have to think? Yes. Debenture. Mm. A mortgage. If what is the statutory percentage contributed by an individual Ugandan employee to the National Social Security Fund? Five percent. Tax. I am. Uh, 10% of the individual's income. 2%? 15%? Mm, I'd assume like 5%. Number seven, DASH is the concept that describes the beliefs of an individual or culture. Your choices are values, behavior, personality. Values. 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 A bond issued by a company is called Loan. A share. I don't know. Dash is a balanced curiosity leading to a deeper understanding of another human being. Your choices are A. Empathy B. Sympathy C. SWOT analysis D. Cooperation um. <coughs> Sympathy uh, It's empathy. 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 Cooperation. Cooperation. <laughs> I can't think of an answer. <laughs> I've never actually done an oral quiz before, but it was really exciting. It's been a vast learning experience for us as Gaza High School to participate in the Stanbic National Rural School Championship uh, because to begin with I imagine my students are 
learning a lot, not just from the different questions that they are asked, but also from the exposure and the possibility of the other part of life to sit for those interviews. I found the interview very interesting. I have tested myself in a different perspective other than the classroom exams that we have, the usual ones that we have, so it's, it's been a great experience for me. Uh, the questions that are asked, some of them we learn from class and others you have to get them through making research. We are what, eight people doing the quiz. It was a challenge and we are wait, awaiting our results. It's a really wonderful experience. I regret why I wasn't part of this before, especially my students, because they are benefiting from it extensively. I am challenged as a teacher. <laughs> to teach more, you realize that all we do is teach our biology, teach our chemistry or literature. But there's a lot more to life than actually what we teach. Because why wouldn't a child know the percentage that an employee contributes towards uh, NSSF? There are these questions that we should actually be integrating with our normal teaching. We are hoping to be the winners, and I know we will. There you have it. Every school is daring. Well, we'll find out who the one national champion will be. Please cheer for your school on our hashtag StanbikUGChampion. And on the next episode, each school will be subjected to the quizzes and the essay writing. And of course, we shall be witnessing the debating stage. It is not going to be your fire versus water debate. Make sure you catch us. And as you do that, please make sure you find out more information about the Business Incubator Center. Up to 200 enterprises have come through these doors to make sure that their businesses are accelerated to greatness. And together, we'll keep moving forward. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up at Nalia SS and King's College, Gayaza, King's College. Gayaza. Yes. Gayaza. Yes. Who is the Prime Minister of Uganda? Prime Minister of Uganda is, let's see, can I pass this? It is Ruhakanda Rugunda, Honorable. If you missed it, let's take you back to what happened. <laughs> we need to see energy for someone to... <laughs> Come and say, to what happened? <laughs> what went wrong? That went wrong. What went wrong? Today I woke up so early. Hurry up, get everything ready. I'm not serious. Check on the dining, check on the dining. Are your books ready? Yes, yes. Pick your bags up, let's go. Bye, that. Don't worry, he'll be back. That's why is he always going? Well, today he's going to help build a dam. Why? So the dam can create electricity and Mrs. Mugisha's children can do their homework at night. Well, Daddy does all that. What else does he do? He's helping to build a highway. No way. Now, Mr. Pio can transport watermelons and earn money for his children's school fees. Daddy helps people create new homes and grow their businesses. But I thought Daddy was a banker. Yes, he is. He works at Stan Big Bank. For us, improving lives is why we do what we do. Because a better tomorrow starts now. Stan Big Bank. Moving forward.